today we are going to discuss the flood reproductive part generally in the plant so many parts are there flower is the most important and it's only the reproductive part of the plant which can produce the new generation or young generation right and here it is when you observe the ls of flower is a usually we are observing the longitudinal section of flower of datura longitudinal section of datura right datura stem volume when you observe the flower all the parts of the flower are arranged in a five circles and we generally call as ovals all parts of the flower are arranged in five circles right and uh, we are giving the numbering for that how the parts are arranged and which parts are arranging in the first circle and which part arranging in the second circle which part is arranging in the third fourth and fifth see that the first part when you observe the flower the first part is a calyx calyx is the one of the important part of the flower which arranging in the first order what is the function of it and usually this part is green in color and the calyx is uh, protecting the internal part of the flower when the flower is in bud stage right and last the another important thing is a uh, corella it's the second part of the flower which is in the second oral right and usually the corella is in a different color we are observing in the flowers is a rose is red in color and uh, or uh, daffodils yellow in color and different colors of flowers we are observing that the colorful part of the flower is corolla and why the flowers are having the different colors and why some flowers are giving the fragrant smell for nothing but attract the insects to attract insects right and here is the second part corolla which is the colorful part of the flower which attracting the insects for pollination the third one is the andrisium andrisium is the main reproductive organ of the flower and which is containing uh, two parts when you observe the andrisium the generally andrisium is also called a stamen the generally andrisium is called stamen which possesses the two parts two parts one is a uh, anther and another stalk like structure is called filament anther is the part which producing male gametes anther is the part which produce male gametes uh, those male gametes are called pollen grains pollen grains the male gametes pollen grains are produced by anther right and the second part is the filament this filament structure help the anther to attach in the flower itself we can observe in the structure of flower this is the structure which help them to attach the anther to the corolla okay these structures are attached to the corolla right and the next one is a gynecium is the fourth part of the flower which is present in the fourth oral right gynecium gynecium is generally called as a pistil it's also called pistil the another name of gynecium is pistil gynecium is the female reproductive part of the flower right and the gynecium when you observe the gynecium here it is containing three parts there are three parts are present in the gynecium one is the stigma style and ovary right the topmost uh, the topest part of the gynecium is called stigma and the tube like structure or the stalk like structure is the style and the swelling or maybe widened part at the bottom is called ovary and when you observe the ovary inside the ovary we can find some ovules and after the fertilization the ovary converted into fruit ovules turns into seeds this is what the structure of the flower and the flower is generally these are there are two types of flowers we are observing in the nature two types of flowers one is a unisexual flowers and bisexual flowers unisexual flowers and bisexual flowers unisexual flowers in the sense of flowers which contain either male reproductive organ or female reproductive organ 
unisexual flowers are containing either male or female reproductive part either androecium or gynecium only one reproductive part is present in the flower such flowers are called unisexual flowers and second is a bisexual bi means two means both male and female reproductive parts are present in the same flower we can consider such flowers are bisexual flowers right okay and this is the flower we can observe that the bisexual because the male reproductive organs are there as well as female reproductive part also present in the same flower so this is considered as a bisexual flower right and uh, usually in the unisexual flowers either male or only the female reproductive part is present in such flowers the pollination takes place what kind of pollination takes place and what is pollination see that I, uh, we discussed already the anther is the male reproductive part which producing uh, male gametes pollen grains male gametes pollen grains the pollen grains are produced in the anther so whenever the pollen grains are produced in the anther if they are transferred from anther to stigma anther to stigma right so when the pollen grains are transferred from anther to stigma the phenomena is known as a pollination is known as pollination transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma is called pollination right usually what kind of pollination takes place uh, in the bisexual flowers as well as unisexual flowers usually the pollination method is a uh, different that uh, depends on the flowers right if the unisexual flower means either male or female definitely they will perform the cross pollination means uh, if a male flower and the producing pollen grains transfer to the female flower gain stigma right so that unisexual flowers definitely performing cross pollination and bisexual flowers performing self pollination and what is self pollination means pollination means transfer of anther pollen grains from anther to stigma if the phenomena happens within the same flower within the bisexual flower if pollination occurs in the bisexual flower it is called self pollination means uh, when pollen grains transfer from anther to stigma within the same flower it is called self pollination self pollination if the transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma occurs between two flowers of the same plant or maybe two flowers of the different plants is known as cross pollination is called cross pollination means the pollen grains transfer from anther to stigma of the another flower a stigma of the another flower of the other plant maybe right so in both the cases pollination takes place but the process is completely different right